In a world of information and misinformation, mischievous brains find one way or another to stick to any insane idea tenaciously, and amongst them is a theory that sparked a lot of curiosity and controversy. The chemtrails conspiracy theory. You've probably seen those long, white trails in the sky left by airplanes and wondered what they really are. Some say they're harmful chemicals being secretly sprayed. But is there any truth to that? Today, we will break down the facts, clear up some common misconceptions, and explore what science really says about those mysterious trails in the sky. But before we dive into today's video, take a moment to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. According to these so-called theorists, the long-lasting trails left by airplanes in the sky are not some ordinary condensation trails, contrails, but are chemtrails, consisting of chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed for nefarious purposes. You will be amazed to know that the spectrum of these suspicious purposes ranges from managing solar radiation, altering weather patterns, manipulating human behavior, and controlling population numbers to engaging in biological or chemical warfare. 1. The nature of contrails. Firstly, understanding what contrails are is essential. Contrails are formed when the hot, humid exhaust from jet engines hits the colder atmospheres at high altitudes. Depending on atmospheric conditions, these trails can dissipate quickly or linger for hours. The composition of contrails is primarily water vapor, a byproduct of burning fuel, which freezes into ice crystals at high altitudes. This natural process is well documented and understood by scientists. 2. Meteorological Misunderstandings One major point of confusion is why some contrails persist longer than others, which fuels the chemtrails narrative. Meteorological science clarifies that the persistence of contrails depends on the humidity and temperature of the atmosphere at the altitude the plane is flying. High humidity levels allow contrails to persist longer and spread out to form cirrus clouds, whereas in dry conditions, they dissipate quickly. The belief that the normal contrails can't persist for long and can't spread has been challenged by multiple books on clouds and weather. Some of these include the National Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Weather, 1991, Exploring the Sky by Day, 1988, Peterson Field Guide to the Atmosphere, 1981, and many more. 3. The Burden of Proof and Scale of Logistics From a logistical perspective, the chemtrails theory struggles under the weight of its own implications. The scale of coordination required to secretly load and dispense massive quantities of chemicals across numerous global flight paths daily, without detection or whistleblower leaks, is staggering and unrealistic. Air travel and service are heavily monitored and regulated, with maintenance personnel, pilots, and air traffic controllers working in close quarters. Keeping such an enormous secret would be nearly impossible. A 2016 survey involving 77 atmospheric scientists found that 98.7% of the participants, i.e. 76 out of 77, reported they had never seen evidence of a secret large-scale atmospheric program, SLAP. They also mentioned that the supposed evidence for such a program could be attributed to normal contrail formation and flawed data collection methods described on websites promoting SLAP theories. 4. Chemical Composition and Sampling Scientific analyses of air samples at various altitudes have consistently shown that the chemical composition of contrails matches that of expected byproducts from jet fuel combustion, namely water vapor, with trace amounts of carbon dioxide and other minor byproducts. No reputable study has discovered substances in contrails that would point to a deliberate chemical spraying program. 5. Environmental and Health Monitoring Extensive environmental monitoring around the world would likely detect unusual chemical deposits if chemtrails were real. Moreover, public health data have not shown patterns consistent with the mass spraying of harmful substances. Health and environmental agencies continually monitor air quality and have not corroborated the claims made by chemtrails proponents. 6. The Role of Digital Media and Public Perception Finally, it's worth noting that the spread of the chemtrails theory has been largely propelled by digital media, 
and a lack of public understanding of atmospheric science. In an era where visual evidence can be compelling, the sight of long-lasting contrails might seem unusual or suspicious to the untrained eye. However, these are normal and explicable through science. Chemtrail theorists have claimed some photos and videos apparently showing chemical spray planes. But as far as the reality is concerned, all these planes have been identified. Most of them have either non-controversial uses or are demonstrable fakes. Outro. In conclusion, while the idea of chemtrails might make for an intriguing plot in a science fiction story, the scientific evidence firmly grounds us in reality. The phenomena attributed to chemtrails are explained thoroughly by the science of meteorology and aviation. For those of us looking up, it's important to question, to wonder, and to seek information but equally crucial to rely on robust scientific investigation to separate fact from fiction. As we continue to navigate the skies and the information landscape, let's base our understanding on evidence, ensuring our discussions are as clear as the skies we hope to protect. Where do you stand on this? Do you have any arguments for or against chemtrails? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get insights on issues that matter.